Hello and welcome to the Modern Toy Fair Review. Today I'm taking a look at the Joe Fest exclusive Valorverse Action Force Warpath Eclipse. As always, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and feelings are if you've picked this up or if you're still on the fence. And make sure to stick around to the end of the video so you can see all the photos I took. But that's enough cheer chatter, let's go ahead and get at her. All right, let's get right into it. So let's take a look at her head here first. So you've got this great paint job with the war paint. You've got some red on her nose, got all this black going dripping down her face. It kind of fades up at the top. Got this braid through her hair that has this little like blue clip in it. And then the other side, we've got some great sculpt for the hair, some curls and waves. And then the eyes are really creepy, just peering out of all the black paint. The I'm, I'm going to get this wrong, but the scarf looks amazing. All those wrinkles, all that texture, even little like frayed bits down at the end. Like it's really, really well done. And then underneath that, you have the armor plate, which has the straps and the clips and some texture there painted on with some scuffs. You've got the, the mag holsters being held with some straps across the midsection. Got some different blue there underneath the green. And then going down the arm, I think this is the first female figure he's done with like bare arms, but she's got this great tattoo, which looks really nice with the kind of faded black. And then the hands are all wrapped up and they also have like a nice texture to them to make the wrap look realer, realer, more real. And going on the other side, this one doesn't have that too, so you can see the muscles a little bit better. Going down the pants though, and in the legs, we've got this extra belt that kind of floats around. You can see. A little bit under there, her normal belt. Got the brown with some like blues and greens. Got the little pleated part at the thighs. Some pouches sculpted on the sides. Knee pads have some scuffs on them. This side of her holster has some mags there. Got the pistol in there. It's got that same kind of greenish color. The boots have little plates over the shin, which look off center to me. Maybe I'm just crazy, but they have some nice scuffs on them. And then the rest of the boots have some nice detail going down, some straps and stuff right there. The bottom, the feet of the tread. Going to the back here, so you see more of that amazing wavy hair. Really great job with the hair that was sculpting there. And then the back of the armor has this really cool, like it has the blue and the green, but it has this like spine going down the back of it. And then you have the knife holster, which is nice and curved. You've got all the texture in the pants, got some pockets on the the butt there and we got down to the back of the boots so sculpt and paint wise this figure looks fantastic on to articulation so up here at the head we do have the hinge comes all the way back gets stopped by the hair down pretty far forward a little bit of tilt side to side twists all the way around arms come up to a little bit past 90 spin all the way around not really any like movement at the shoulder though for like a uh, butterfly joint or anything sadly. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows go to about there. And then of course we have the hinge at the wrist goes forward and back and then spins all the way around. I did take off her vest to show that she has some ab crunch here so you can see her tank top as well. Goes pretty far back. And then tons of, well, not really tons of side to side, a little bit of side to side. Kind of get a little bit of wiggle there. And then she twists around from side to side that way, both the top and bottom of the joint. And the legs do pull down, so it gives you tons of range. You can go all the way out 90 to the side, up to the front. Got the thigh cut there for the swivel. It was a little bit far for the back. Double jointed knees are a little tight. Get it there. There we go. Let's see right about there. And then you do have the ankle pivot forward, back, twists around, and then you have the cut at the boot for some rotation as well. So you can still get her in quite a few poses. Uh, really, the only hindrance I can come across is the lack of butterfly joint. And then with Valorverse, you know, there's tons of accessories. So here's some alternate heads. I believe this is pronounced a hijab. So she's got the it, it over her face, kind of disguising her. You got the black paint there. You can see with the eyes peering out. You got tons of great texture and sculpt throughout the fabric. 
on the back, all those folds and everything, a nice little light touch of paint. And then we have this amazing screaming head. So happy to finally get some emotion in some figures. Look at the teeth, the mouth, everything looks great. And then we have some hands. So this one is the gun cradling hand. You can see they have that wrap around it. Here's the fist. Some great textures. It's like wrapped between the fingers and everything. Looks really cool. You can see at the knuckles there. We got the kind of knife holding hand. Then we get three of each of the mags. So here's this one. And then we have the alternate one here with a different texture on it. Then we have her pistol. It has some great detail hidden in the black paint and then the silver tip. We have her AR, which has that kind of light grayish green accents on the black. Got the silver in the barrel. Great different sculpts throughout that. Here we go. See the little hole for the uh, flash effect. And then flip it over, you can see their side also has some really good sculpt as well down to the stock. Then we have the knife, which has this cool little curve in it. It's got like a little notch in the top. Then we've got this really cool pickaxe, which has a nice curve to it. And it's the same kind of type of blade. And finally, we have the Valiverse Action Force stand with the four pegs to kind of encourage you to go all over the place along with the little slit for the card. On to a quick size comparison here. So here she is next to Bone Collector. You can see just a smidgen of height difference there. And then we have Donatello from the NECA Mirage line, who's a little bit shorter. We've got Mafex Spidey, who's about the same height. Let's get all these people out the way. Bring in Marvel Legends John Favreau. Classified Pimp Day Destro in J Toys Ryu. Maybe if Destro wants to stand, there we go. All right, so as you can see, John Farrow's a little bit taller, and so is Pimp Day Destro. And then Ryu is surprisingly short. I don't know why I'm surprised, because he's short compared to almost every figure we've reviewed, but still, like, I was not expecting him to be at shoulder height. And of course, we have the big beefy boy, the Marvel Legends, build a figure armadillo. She's about up to his shoulder length, because he is massive. And then last up, we have the box. So you have this really cool tribal band going on the side, extra force in red, clips down the bottom in white. There's some more tribal stuff at the bottom, white in the back. More of the same up top, warning, don't choke on this, with the Valiverse logo on the opposite side. Got a really cool artwork of her on the side over here. Some more tribal, I think that's actually her tattoo on that side. Then we've got No Kids Allowed, barcode, Valiverse, logos, all that fun stuff. And then you get to the back, and we've got the picture of the figure, we've got a little cutout for like a info card, you got your action points and all the socials and their website. So yeah, but we expect from Valiverse at this point. Okay, so overall I'm pretty middle of the road here. I like the figure, but it hasn't blown me away. Uh, there's some aspects of it that are new, which are really nice, but there's also a lot of reuse. So like the the new screaming head is fantastic. I love seeing, you know, the addition of expressive faces, especially as not just a, like in Marvel Legends, you'll get a lot of that where you just get that face or you get the just kind of normal face. And I like that you get both, especially now she has the war paint on it. I also like the, the new arms with the like wrapped up forearms and fists. That's a great touch. The textures look great. Great job on the tattoos but most of the rest of the figure is just reuse which is to be expected this is this line is pretty much built on the foundation of troop builders like that's what it is so i i'm okay with that it just didn't have a whole lot to really knock it out of the park for me especially because the lack of butterfly joint at the shoulders made it difficult to pose in some cases and i think that may have not necessarily soured it for me but that took it down a notch because i was really hot on the figure the look figure looks fantastic i think it's great but the articulation needs a little work and i think eventually valiverse will get there uh, obviously it's, it's been proven possible that even on the tinier bodies you can do like the rotation or butterfly joint at the shoulders for the female figures even if they're a little smaller so i do have faith valiverse will eventually as well uh, i hadn't had any of the female figures from the line yet because i was holding out on like a night ops steel brigade figure but overall I'm, I'm i enjoy the figure i think it's a great exclusive it's what it needs to be i love the new paint apps i love the detail like the, just the real fine details like in the wraps with the textures and stuff like that for the hands so i'm here for it i can't wait to see what they do in the future but more importantly let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are do you love it do you hate it do you think i'm 
just being nitpicky, let me know. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Helps us out, gets you a bunch of toilet content in your feed as well. And if you're already a fan of the channel, head down to the description below, hit the link for patreon.com forward slash modern toy fair. We've got a bunch of different tiers of different rewards you can get, physical prints of the photos I take, episode input on the podcast. You can even get episodes of the podcast and occasionally the reviews early, exclusive episodes, all sorts of stuff. So check that out. We greatly appreciate it. But that's going to be it for this week. Hopefully see you next week. Same toy time, same toy for channel. Thank you for watching.